Next up, Q of the Day. This is a pretty good one. Uh, it's about Lucas because uh, he was talking about Max Kaiser. Max Kaiser thinks everything's a scam outside of Bitcoin. Sure. So I had to answer the question. And uh, I didn't answer the question. Actually, it was Richard Hart. So right. let's Hello jump. and welcome back to Q of the Day. So the Q of the Day, it's a pretty good one. Uh, and actually, it was a Q that, was, that came to me uh, in October. And uh, there's a reason why I'm getting to this right now. I'll give that in a second. So this is from Lucas. He is from Switzerland. Oh, Lucas, and he says, uh, hey, Rob, first of all, I want to say thank you for your work. Really enjoy watching your videos and getting your insights. Thanks for watching. Uh, thank you also for recommending Celsius. Uh, we both received $20 bonus, which is great, right? Uh, if you're looking to sign up for Celsius, check out the uh, link in the description. $20 if you sign up, 20 for me and you. Win-win. Great. He says, I stumbled across a video from Stansberry Research, link below. I'd really like to get your opinion on Max Kaiser's statement that all altcoins, including ETH, are exit scams. Sure. I know you're invested in altcoins just like I am. I think it's always a good idea to get a contrarian opinion from somebody who does not see the world like we do. How would you have reacted to the statement in Daniela's shoes? Might be. Am I right? So this is a good question because it's a question that uh, this gentleman, Lucas, is going to come across and a lot of people are, especially with what's going to happen in 2021 and uh, you know, PayPal getting in the fray and allowing everybody to buy cryptocurrency digital assets. So uh, this uh, was answered pretty astutely uh, by Richard Hart. And uh, somebody had reached out to me on Twitter and said, hey, Richard would uh, be able to answer any questions you should have on your show. I said, sure. You know, so I reached out to Richard. He said, yeah, come on on. Uh, he's going to come on. And I think this was perfect because uh, Richard is a programmer and he's done different things. Now, look. Uh, Richard is a uh, controversial figure in the cryptocurrency digital asset space. There's no denying that. He has a product called Hex, which some people uh, have said it's awesome, and some people say it's a scam. So it's like everything else out there. And remember, Ethereum was also called a scam at one point, so just take it with a grain of salt. And before I even start, I will just say this. Uh, I will not be investing into Hex, not because I think it's a scam, or it's a bad project or whatever else, I just don't understand it. And uh, on, my ch on my show, on my channel, I tell you about the things that I invest into and why I invest into them. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of different things that I've passed on that went on to make a ton of money. There's a lot of things i passed on that went to absolute zero. So I can't tell you what to do. I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. But uh, Richard does answer these questions uh, fantastically. And uh, let's just get into it uh, right now. Uh, Richard, so tell us all about how Bitcoin isn't the end all be all, how mm -hmm. altcoins can make it, and tell us about Hex because guess what? Sure. I don't really know too much about it. Easy. All right. So then just, yeah, I'm recording. We should go. You ready now? It. Yeah. All right. Hi, my name is Richard Hart. I've got uh, like 65K followers on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Richard Hart win, like 45K on YouTube, uh, youtube.com forward slash Richard Hart. I founded the world's first uh, blockchain time deposit. Just pretty amazing. If you want to make uh, the world a better place and replace the banks and the banksters and their high fees and bad hours and shady things that they do with a peer-to-peer -peer replacement, someone has to build it. So I built it. Bitcoin was invented to attack currency. In the United States and China, there's about seven, rather $5 trillion of printed money, but there's $7 trillion in time deposits. So it's actually a larger market so the thing that I invented, Hex, as a side effect of doing time deposits very well, it also does currency better. So it's not designed to do currency, but it does it better than Bitcoin does with higher throughput, lower fees, better price performance, uh, more features. It's like, it's really, <clears throat> Bitcoin hasn't been improved in 10 years. In 10 years, you've got, you could only do one thing with it. You can press send and it makes your number go down and it makes somebody else's number go up. And that's it. That's all you can do. So if you want more than that, if you want to be able to lock up your funds and get paid interest and get paid a reward for locking them, Bitcoin will never, ever, ever do that because it only mints new coins to incentivize miners to pollute the environment and give that money to hardware manufacturers and electric companies. And that's all it will ever do. It's okay. It's, it's the security model as it is, but it's been 10 years and improvements can be made and they're being made all the time. So if, you know, Bitcoin doesn't do the most volume in crypto, Tether does. Bitcoin, uh, if you want to get out of it and protect your fiat value and get into a stable coin, you, there's no stable coins of Bitcoin. 
there's tons of stable coins in Ethereum. Seven of the top 11 cryptocurrencies by market cap were started on or primarily use Ethereum. TRX, BNB, EOS, USDT, Ethereum itself. Uh, I think there's one or two I'm forgetting, but sure. X, X is up there, top 20. Um, <clears throat> it's a proven system that has more features, higher throughput, lower latency, more security. Bitcoins had two inflation bugs. One, they rolled back the chain. Somebody minted 6 billion free extra Bitcoin in 2010. They rolled back the chain. And then another one was just recently found about a year ago by a Bitcoin Cash developer. And this is the result of having spaghetti code with no spec that you can write to, no useful alternative implementations, no bug bounty programs, and no security audits. So why wouldn't you have problems with that? Whereas Ethereum has a bug bounty program. Hex has three audits, two security audits, and one economics audit. So we put more money and time into security, and lo and behold, we're more secure. So other cryptocurrencies have had inflation bugs, which is a fancy word for anyone could mint as many free coins as they want, and Hex won't, because our consensus code is isolated and locked in a place where you can't accidentally screw it up trying to improve something else, which is how the last Bitcoin inflation bug happened. But people, people don't know about security, and they don't know how bugs and software really happen, so they, th they think that having a higher hash rate protects you doesn't do anything at all to protect you. As a matter of fact, higher hash rates a protection racket. Who are you paying to not attack you? The only people that could attack you. You're not protecting yourself from some other party. It's just like when the mafia comes into your store and says, I'd be a shame if there was a fire here, huh? Maybe you should pay us to protect you from that. That's what mining is. And guess what those miners do with that money? They pollute the environment and sell the price down. So Bitcoin miners get paid to sell the price. They don't buy Bitcoin, they sell it. They buy electricity and mining hardware. In Hex, stakers are paid to hold the price up. It's just wildly better. And which is the reason why if you bought uh, Hex on January 5th and held it till now, you'd have 50 times more Bitcoin. Do you want 50 times more Bitcoin? You love Bitcoin so much. Bitcoin's the best thing in the world. You're buying my bags that I bought for 30. You're buying them at 11,500. Go ahead. You can buy 50 times more had you gotten to Hex earlier. So any, anybody that says, you know, oh, I love Bitcoin more than anything. Well, if you really loved it, you would have 50 times more of it, 50, five, zero times more by having getting uh, gotten involved with Hex. And by the way, it's free. It's free for Bitcoin holders. If you had Bitcoin before, I believe, uh, December 1st, you get free Hex, literally free. And over $3 billion of Bitcoin holders have minted their free Hex with absolutely a wonderful experience. So, so Richard, it sounds to me, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. but you are uh, in direct opposition to Max Kaiser by yeah. saying, yes, I believe that uh, Bitcoin is not the end-all be-all. It won't be right. the only thing we can ever use. And it will, <clears throat> and all the other altcoins are not the S coins. Well, it, it's, it's really this simple. If you're, if you're a coward and you want very little from the world and you don't have high expectations, maybe Bitcoin's enough for you. You don't want anonymity. Bitcoin doesn't have anonymity. Well, lots of other coins do, including Hex. Hex has uh, t.me forward slash Hex NATO. ZK snarks zero knowledge proofs on chain. Trustless, right? Bitcoin doesn't have stablecoin. Ethereum's got tons of stablecoins. Bitcoin just recently, there's more wrapped Bitcoin on Ethereum. Ethereum is acting as Bitcoin's layer two for scalability than there is in the Lightning Network, which just had a critical critical vulnerability which required people to upgrade or lose money a couple of days ago. It has had many. So Ethereum is doing better than Bitcoin was ever designed to do or hoped to do. You can do on-chain, the largest liquid market for a dollar to Ethereum pair in the entire world is on-chain, trustless, no AML, no KYC, no sign up. You want to get out of Bitcoin? You got to beg someone. Hey, I sent you my coins. Can you please send me something else back, please? Oh, you need selfies now? Oh, you're going to shut my account down because you don't like what I did with my money after I got it from you? That's the, the Bitcoin life. You want a 13-second transaction in Bitcoin? It's not available. You wait six confirmations an hour. Well, let's say you just do it in one confirmation. It's 10 minutes. Well, what do you think is faster, 13 seconds or 10 minutes? The mining hardware, like, it's more. <laughs> Ethereum murders Bitcoin, and price-wise and feature-wise, Hex murders Ethereum, even though Hex runs on Ethereum. It's, it's, it's an interesting thing. It's like Ethereum is basically like a typewriter and then you can write a very nice novel, but if you don't write the novel, it's not there. 
So it's, it's, it's like a, it's a substrate that you're executing your economic game theory on. So Hex's economic game theory rewards the only thing in crypto that actually matters and the only thing in crypto that actually has adoption, which is buying and holding and holding for a long time. If you bought Bitcoin in 2017 at the end, you're still down 50%. Boy, that sucks, doesn't it? Maybe you're down 40% now. We're not at 12K. So you're, you're down more than 40% because it was 20K then. And that's three years ago. Is that Does that sound like a good store of value to you? It dropped 65% in a week or maybe two weeks a few months ago for COVID. Does that sound like a good store of value for you? And by the way, everything does that drop. Every altcoin, Bitcoin and every altcoin is going to continue to be volatile and that's fine because if you want upside volatility, you've got to be able to withstand the downside volatility. You can't just have one. So if you've held uh, cryptocurrency for a long period of time, it's the highest appreciating asset class that's ever existed in the history of man. Right now, Bitcoin is up 1.1 million X from when it was a penny 10 years ago. 1.1 million times increase in value. Hex is up 116X. It did it in four months. Now we got a dip. It's down uh, to 70X. Oh my God, I only made 70 times my money in 10 months. Oh, oh God. You got to be kidding me. What other place in the world can you get returns like this with no counterparty risk? No, there's no sign up. There's no ML. There's no KYC. There's no exit scan. There's no hope. Oh, I hope some guy builds something. I hope some guy does something. It's finished. It's complete. It's faster, more secure, more price performance, more features, better everything, better domain name, better logo, better, like, you can't misspell it. Go ahead and misspell hex. You can't. Great so, yeah. So, Richard, good explanation there for everything, right? About why Bitcoin's at the NLB also. Thank you. Before we, before we get into hex, let me ask you. Is it, what is, let me ask you this, what is it going to take to overthrow Bitcoin to get out of the public time. consciousness besides well, and time and? So it depends, it depends on where, so this, it's a suitcase question. And I got to break it apart. Right now, if you're a hedge fund and you want to buy $400 million or something, as some people have done, some guy named MicroStrategy brought, bought like $450 million of Bitcoin. If he wants to be able to get into that position without too much slippage, he needs a lot of liquidity, billions of dollars of liquidity. And if he wants to get out of that position, he needs billions of dollars of liquidity so he doesn't move the market against himself too hard getting in and getting out. So for a guy operating at that scale in cryptocurrency, really his only option is Bitcoin because the slippage is, is far too hard in other uh, coins. Whereas if you're a normal human being and you're only doing 100,000, 200,000, a million you don't need a billion of liquidity. You can you can get into an out of hex or Ethereum or a hundred other coins just fine with those numbers. And it really does matter the, the scale that you're trying to operate at. So, you know, if you look at replacing finance, what percentage of finance is currency? Five percent, maybe. What's everything else? Options, derivatives, loans, time deposits. Time deposits, which hex addresses, is the second most product, uh, second most popular product of the bank. So look, that's it for, th for that interview. And as you can tell, uh, Richard's got a lot to say. Uh, he has no shortage of opinion, that is for sure. So uh, that interview, without me interrupting him, uh, went 40 minutes, 44 minutes or something like that. So uh, for me to put that on Digital Asset News, uh, the YouTube channel, would just take too long. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop it up. He answered the question, which I appreciate. He's gonna go more into detail uh, about Hex, and I'm gonna put that over on ban clips uh, so I can separate and segment these types of things. So if you're looking for that, uh, there's a, uh, a link. It'll be in the description. It looks just like this. And you can click on that and go over to Dan Clips and watch the rest of the interview if you're interested. So uh, that is it for Q of the day. Uh, thank you, Richard, for coming on the show and asking the questions. And uh, that is it. Let's jump. All right, so that's it for today. So thanks for sticking with me to the very end. <laughs> Interesting stuff, I'm sure. Uh, just as a reminder, uh, danteachescrypto.com. It is up and live and free. And you can find the link in the description of every one of my videos. It's at the very top, right underneath uh, the timestamps. And you can go and check it out. It's uh, We try to simplify everything, try to make things fast, very accessible and easy to find your answers right here. So uh, go ahead and check that out when you have time and that'll do it for today so uh, if you like these types of videos i mean two months gonna pop up on your left and right uh, i'll pick one of them and then youtube will do its magic for the other one and uh, that is it so thanks for watching the whole thing appreciate it and i'll see you on